having a very interesting topic today. I'm going to read you some Aesop fables. Do you know what fables are? Fables can be found in literature of almost every country. A fable is a fictional story that features animals, mythical creatures, plants or objects. They can speak and act like humans. At the end of the story, there is always a moral lesson. Now, you're probably interested in who Aesop is. Historians believe that Aesop was a slave and a storyteller and he used to live in ancient Greece between 620 and 560 before the Common Era. That is all that we know for certain of his life, although a large number of legends grow up around him. It is quite probable that a few of the 200 or so fables which have come down to us as Aesop fables were actually made by Aesop himself. In the first place, ancient Greece, like all other countries, had always had a folk tradition of local storytelling. So, a number of the fables will simply have been retold by Aesop. In the second place, his brilliance as a storyteller was immediately recognised by the people that almost any fable which could have been told by him became attributed to him. But let me tell you some. Sour grapes. A hungry fox tried to reach some clusters of grapes which he saw hanging from a vine trained onto a tree. But they were too high. So he went off and comforted himself by saying they weren't ripe anyway. The moral of the story is, in the same way, some men, when they fail through their own incapacity, blame circumstances. Evil for good. One winter's day, a farmer found a snake frozen stiff in the cold. And moved by compassion, he picked up and put it in his bosom. But with the warmth, its nature instinct returned and it gave its well-doer a fatal bite. As he died, he said, I have got what I deserve for taking pity on an evil creature. The moral is, the story shows that even the greatest kindness cannot change a bad nature. The Goose and the Golden Egg There was once a countryman who possessed the most wonderful goose you can imagine. For every day when he visited the nest, the goose had laid a beautiful, glittering golden egg. The countryman took the eggs to the market and soon began to get rich. But it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose because she gave him only a single golden egg each day. He was not getting rich very fast. Then, one day, after he had finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when the deed was done, not a single golden egg did he find and his precious goose was dead. The moral, those who have plenty want more and lose all they have. The North Wind and the Sun The North Wind and the Sun had a quarrel about which of them was the strongest. While they were disputing with much heat and bluster, a traveller passed along the road wrapped in a cloak. Let us agree, said the son. If you can strip that traveller of his cloak, you are the strongest of us both. Very well, growled the north wind, and at once sent a cold, howling blast towards the traveller. With the first gust of wind, the ends of the cloak whipped around the traveller's body, but he immediately wrapped it closer around him, and the harder the wind blew, the tighter he held it to him. The north wind tore 
angrily at the cloak, but all his efforts were in vain. Then the sun began to shine. At first his beams were gentle, and in the pleasant warmth after the bitter cold of the north wind, the traveller unfastened his cloak and let it hang loosely from his shoulders. The sun rays grew warmer and warmer. The man took off his cap and mopped his brow. At last he became so heated he pulled off his cloak and to escape the blazing sunshine threw himself down in the welcome shade of a tree by the roadside. The moral of the story is gentleness and kind persuasion win whereas force and bluster fail. Without a doubt, learning is one of the most important things in life. Whether it's maths, art, sports, or more importantly, life lessons. We are never too old to learn. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you next time. Goodbye.